and there was absolutely no concept of delivering financial services to uh, to people through retail outlets so you know there was a question of what will be the technology compatibility what will be the awareness compatibility will the people uh, who would take services feel trust will find enough trust using this kind of infrastructure using banking services addressing social issues as well as creating social capacity is hardwired strategically into the way we do business in terms of delivering bpo services as an outsourcing service provider addressing these together in a tightly coupled manner is the inspiration for setting up this such an organization i specifically got into the sector of disability because of a chance visit to an organization called vidya sagar many of the children at vidya sagar children with cerebral palsy or autism are as intelligent as you and me but they don't have a way of communicating they cannot express their thoughts their emotions their feelings about the world around them because of which they are unable to take part in normal society the way that we do currently around the world um you know studies have shown that there's about 500 million individuals who are currently in the informal sector who lack credit scores or who lack access to simple accounting and tracking tools for their businesses when i witnessed firsthand the impact of a solar light sold on credit to the extremely poor in orissa the the question that i had in mind was how can we connect the struggling 700 million people with the flourishing india and its diaspora creating opportunities at an everyday individual level in eco we are primarily trying to create a low cost branchless banking infrastructure wherein uh, we our target uh, customer base is people who end up earning between 3000 to 15000 a month and are typically uh, people who have been underserved or have not been served by the traditional banking infrastructure we are trying to partner with the uh, uh, neighborhood kirana stores retail outlets uh, which could act like uh, branch uh, extension counters for bank branches people can actually walk into a retail store get themselves a bank account they can get themselves a deposit withdrawal and remittance services b2r sets up rural bpo delivery centers in remote villages of uttarakhand the business model is to identify and shortlist youngsters who have at least a basic minimum education say high school passes the minimum we take we identify specific areas in which clients have a requirement for business services from banking financial services publishing to finance and accounts and with our experience in this area we work closely with the clients to create the job opportunities right here for these youngsters next to their homes by creating an opportunity right next to where they are staying it also addresses the issue of migration to cities which some people can but many can't our first product is avaz a communication device for children with speech disabilities it helps people with disabilities like cerebral palsy autism mental retardation down syndrome etc to talk it gives a voice for children with these disabilities we're also working on a number of other social agendas which have to come together in order to assist in the mainstreaming of people with these disabilities We actually provide credit scores for low-income businesses as well as households. It costs 25 paisa for a micro business owner, small business owner, or a household to use, and they report their daily sales or income um, and their expenses per day to us via SMS. So what we do is we provide value right back to them um, through a simple profit loss statement that comes back to them again through SMS. In addition what we do is we consolidate the information and create a credit score for them and we provide that credit score to other financing institutions so that the household or business owner 
can actually ask for the products that they're interested in and these other financing institutions can actually understand their own credit worthiness and risk level. Milab is a crowdfunding platform that enables individuals around the world lend to India's working poor. That means somebody sitting in Toronto or Singapore can now directly lend to a family in Trichy or an artisan in Bengal with as small as 1000 rupees. Through our online platform milab.org, people can lend directly or create fundraising campaigns to specific projects and communities. We work with on-the-ground field partners who are responsible for disbursement, collection and repayments from the end borrower. In doing so, we are able to dramatically reduce the cost of capital for the borrowers who pay 50% or more cheaper than existing microcredit rates in India. We are proud of being a finalist at Sankalp Awards because it gives us the motivation and the dedication to continue in our uncharted path of providing financial services to millions of Indians uh, through this branchless banking infrastructure which ECO is trying to create. Sankalp is a great melting pot for everything that's happening in the social enterprise space. Entrepreneurs, social investors, potential customers for these enterprises, all of them under one roof is what it offers, which is why it's great. We are proud to be finalists for Sankalp 2012. It's like being nominated for the Oscars in the social enterprise space. I don't believe that we are competing with other ventures that are working in the social sector in India. There is enough of work for everyone to do. It's wonderful that the Sankalp Forum has brought us together in order to celebrate working together for the benefit of our society. We're proud to be Sankalp finalists because it provides us recognition within India for the work that we're doing, but also globally. And it helps us open doors to other opportunities. We are proud to be Sankalp Award finalists because this is the third time we have applied and we have finally made it.